Hello everyone, we will continue that topic, SAP ABAP New Syntax. And now in this video, we will cover the join improvements as a part of SAP ABAP New Syntax. Now in SAP ABAP New Syntax, if you are going for join, we can use the symbol star in the join itself. Now you all know what is star. Star means we are fetching that data of all the columns of that particular table. And we all know very well, we always, always avoid star. Why we are avoiding star? Because star means you are fetching that data of all the columns. Suppose a table has 100 columns and I only need the data of 20 columns. I only need the data of 30 column, then why unnecessary we are fetching that data of all 100 column. But in real projects, sometimes we need the data of all the column. Sometimes we need the data of maximum columns of the table. Then in that case, you can use star because ultimately you require the data of all the column. Now in SAP ABAP new syntax, if you are going for join and you want the data of maximum column or all the columns of a particular table, which is the part of join, you can use star. Previously, this is not the case. If you want the all the data or maximum columns data of a particular table, you need to specify the columns one by one. Now here, we can simply, simply use star also. If I will read the theory, then I will show you the particular practical part. Then we will do our own practical. Suppose previously, if we want to fetch that data of all columns of a table, we cannot use star for that particular table in the join. Now in SAP ABAP new syntax, we can use star to fetch the data of all the columns of a particular table in the join. This is for the join. We are talking about join improvements only. Suppose if I will go for the example, you will understand. Suppose if I will go for this particular case, we have Mara table, we have MAKT table. Suppose I will show you this. We have Mara table, we have MAKT table. From Mara table, you only require two columns. So we specified MATNR and MEINS. Now, if I will go to MAKT table, suppose if I will go to MAKT table, I will display this table. Now from this table, I want SPRAS also, I want MAKTX also, I want MAKTG also. So from this table, you require the data of maximum columns. So previously, if we don't know the new syntaxes, you need to specify the individual column, SPRAS, MAKTX, MAKTG. But if you know the new syntaxes, have you seen? I simply, simply use star. Star means it will bring the data of all the columns. Yes, we should always avoid star because if a table has 100 column, 200 column, and you require data of 20, 30 column, do not go for star at that point of time. But yes, if you require the data of maximum column, or if you want data of all the column, we can use star because ultimately we need that data. So what I will do, we'll go for same to same approach. If we don't know the new syntaxes and how we are fetching the data of all the columns of the table in the join, then I will show you how we can use star as a part of SAP ABAP new syntax. And I will take the example of Mara and MAKT table. So what I will do, I will go for the creation of the program. I will give some name to the program. Suppose ZPRG new syntax. Suppose join improvement. Okay, improvement. I will go for create. Suppose I will give that title demo on join improvements. 
I will choose that type as executable program. I will go for save. I will save this as a local object. And I will take Matenar as an input. Suppose I will go for range of material numbers. So you all know you need to go for select options. S underscore Matenar for LV underscore Matenar. I will declare LV underscore Matena. Suppose if I will go for Mara table, I will display this table. Matena, this is the data element. Data LV underscore Matena type Matena. I will go for activation. And I will provide the selection text. Go to text elements and I will choose DDIC reference. This is from data element. And my input is ready. Now we will go for join. Suppose from Mara table, I will take the data of suppose MATNR and MEINS, suppose two columns. Suppose two columns. Suppose from MAKT table, we want the data of suppose three columns. SPRAS, MAKTX, MAKTG. Now it means we want the data of total five columns. It means we need to create a structure of five columns, structure type of five columns, and we will declare the internal table of five columns. So I will go for structure type, begin of LTY underscore data. Now I will go for Matena. Then we'll completely move on to new syntaxes. Will not declare the structure type. Matena type, data element of Matena. Then I have MEINS type data element of MEINS. For MEINS, it is MEINS only. If I will see. Yes. Now we will go for rest of the three columns from MAKT table. This is SPRAS. Type SPRAS. I will go for MAKTX. Type MAKTX. Now I will go for MAKTG. Type MAKTG. I will end this particular structure. I will declare internal table and work area. Type table of LTY underscore data. Now, work area, type LTY underscore data. Now, I will go for join. And blindly, blindly, I can go for inner join because whenever you are creating a material, yes, it is always, always in Mara and MAKT table. Because whenever we are creating a material, that material will go to this Mara table and description will store into MAKT table. So it is compulsory that that material number is in Mara and MAKT both. It is not the case the material number is in Mara, but it is not in MAKT. It's never, never possible. So we can blindly, blindly go for inner join. So now I will go for join. Select. What is first column? Matena, MEINS, SPRAS, MAKTX, MAKTG. We'll fetch from which table? Mara. Suppose I will go for alias as a join, MAKT as P. You all know if you are not specifying anything, by default, it will act as a inner join. So this is the alias for 
This is the alias for Mara. This is the alias for MKB. Now, what is the common column? Own. A matinar is equal to B matinar. Material number is common. Now, we will store into internal table. Into table, LT underscore theta. Now, we will go for wear condition. Matinar in S underscore matinar. And we will go for language also. So many times I told this, yes, we need to specify the system language. So I will go for SPRAS is equal to psi length. Now we will use the aliases everywhere. This is your A. This is your A. This is our B. This is our B. This is our B. Now this is from A and this is from B. I'll check the syntax up to this level. Syntactically correct. And we will display. Loop at LT underscore data into LWA data. And we will display. I will go for write statement. LWA data hyphen matina. LWA data hyphen MEINS. SPRAS. MAKTX. And then it's your MAKTG. I'll check the syntax. And I will activate. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, we started with join improvements as a part of SAP ABAP new syntax. And we discussed that now you can use star for a particular table in the join itself. We should always use, I always, always avoid star. Because star means you are bringing the data of all the column. By unnecessary, we should fetch data of all the columns if it is not required. But in real projects, sometimes we need the data. Sometimes we need data of maximum columns of the table. Then in that case, we can use star because ultimately we are using that data. Now, if we don't know the SAP ABAP new syntax, and if you want the data of maximum column or all the column, you need to specify the columns one by one because you cannot use star. Then I showed you the demo. Yes, how if we don't know the new syntaxes, how you are fetching that data of maximum columns of the table, you need to specify. And I showed you the demo. In the next video, we'll firstly understand the output in the debugging mode. Then we will see how we can simply, simply use star for this second table rather than specifying the individual columns. So, right there, this is all about this particular video. Thank you.